So I have been going back through the archives of Sechi and came across something. Well, actually, I've come across quite a bit. So this is going to be the first in a series of what we're going to call What in the World Was That? So let me set the scene for you here. This is January 1st, 2007. Yes, turning back the hands of time. So, put yourself where you were in 2007, January 1st, and let's see what was happening in our solar system. Just to let you know that I've slowed this down to 20% of normal, because I believe what you're going to see is, well, I'll let you see. So here we come. This is Venus. Birkeland current, right? Going across. What is this? Are you kidding me? What in the world is this? Are you believing this? Now, I have taken stills of this. Now, just to let you know, this is Mercury, this is Venus, and I'll show you this on a uh, solar scope so you can see it. There's the sun doing its normal uh, on a CME. So, we're going to go back because this is just remarkable, folks. When you really take this in, what is happening? I don't know what this is. Whatever it is, it's huge. It's bigger than any planet, almost bigger than our sun. And I'll stop it here so you can really get an idea. Now, understand this is a Birkeland current coming off of this. Here's this poor little Venus out here, which we have seen of lately because it's been so bright. But nothing nothing in comparison to this. Look at this, folks. And we're going to go through some stills and just try to get an understanding. And also, let me give you a little background uh, more on this. So they launched this bird up in 2006, and they first got the first pictures of in December, uh, which I do have those, and I will show those in another program. So this is like, you know, here are the engineers and uh, all the guys working at um, JPL and uh, the uh, Marine Observatory. And look at this. They're seeing this. Look at this, folks. It's huge. It's huge. Look at the light signature of this. And I have never, never seen a Birkeland current anything to the size. This is so far off the scale, uh, it's, it's beyond imagination. But look at this. I mean, it is just incredible. Look at that. This is the sun right here. And look at this. Is this just amazing or what? And look at this. Now, we've got this also from another angle, and here comes Mercury. And I will show you on Solar Scope so you can uh, understand uh, what we're seeing here. And, you know, there has been a lot of debate as that this is a lens flare. It is not. I, I can tell you that you go back to the very early, early pictures, and you begin to track what's happening to Venus here, and it only happens to Venus, only. Venus gets this, I don't know what you want to call it, ejecta, halo, whatever. Look at that. Now, you can see both these planets, same thing, same Birkeland current, right? Yeah. All right, now take a look at this. Okay, so this is at the same speed, 
Now, this is, again, Stereo A, HI1, and you can see this one here takes the negative and positive. Look at this, folks. Is this just amazing? And look what it's doing to Venus down here. I mean, Venus is just going crazy. Look at this. I don't know what this is. It can't be a planet. Um, something this size had to have been observed. Look at this. My impression when I saw this, by the way, is that I saw, you can almost say this is like a, um, an eagle's wing, maybe an, even an angel's wing, right? I mean, but it's huge. The, the, the scale of this, um, re, even if this is close to the camera, and I'll show you where these satellites are positioned, it's still, number one, very bright, very large, and it took days to pass through our solar system. Look at this. And you can see our sun's reacting. Our sun is just reacting big time on here. And then here comes Mercury, and I'll show you how we know that. Look at this, and our sun is just reacting. And if you notice here, you can actually see that this is, that's why I know it's particles. And you can see it as though it's kind of like on water, but this is out there on, in space. So this is all part of the wake of whatever that was. And then you can see Again, these are particles. Something with Venus. And if you notice, too, here, let me show you something. Mercury, right? Venus. Mercury, Venus. Do you see a difference? Yeah. Even as you continue to see, now here's a huge coronal mass ejection, a CME. Um, and there's Mercury right here, and here's Venus. So if this was a lens flare, right, that would come off of a Venus, this is what they're saying, a planet, we should be getting the same effect here with Mercury. I mean, unless the properties are different. Hmm. All right. Look at that huge CME. All right, so let me show you where these satellites are at. So here you go. Stereo A, Stereo B. We were looking at Stereo A. So it's looking back this direction in which you're going to see many times Venus and Mercury in this configuration. Now, this is Solar System's scope. And as you can see, I've got the time this is set in to January. So this is January 23rd, the same time that we're watching whatever this was. And so what you're going to get the view, let me get this right, would be this view right here. So there you go. Now, it can't be Mercury. We see Mercury and Venus. Whatever this was came in, and we're going to see it one more time, but I just wanted to show you that I'm doing my best to try to see what could that have been. We know it was no planet. I've never seen a planet. And if that was the comet, holy crap. I mean, that has to be the largest comet I've ever seen. So I just thought we'd go through a couple of stills so you can see what happened here. And when you see what's going on, it's just incredible. It really is. So here we go. 
Here comes the sun. Well, that's a weird looking face, isn't it? <laughs> I hadn't noticed that. Now, again, look at Venus, right? Important. Birkeland current, notice the line. Look at that. You know, when you begin to measure this in scale, well, maybe some of you watching this will get your estimates, but mine are, this was huge. Look at this. And all I did here was just take it into uh, reverse uh, the fields here in light. It's just huge. Absolutely enormous. It's so big that this Berglund current line, right? This is Venus. Look at this. And even if you take the fact that, let's say, the spatial, um, where the camera is seeing, that this is, let's say it's passing close by the camera, right? I mean, that could possibly cause it to give this effect that it would be larger than what it would normally be. We've seen a lot of comets tracking from SETI. I have seen a lot of things come across on SETI. I have never seen this. This is just, it's beyond pale of comparison. I mean, if you just do the math, so what would everyone say? Would we say that we're looking at what? I'd say 60 to 1 ratio, maybe more. But look at this. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. I have no explanations other than maybe this is a comet that fried Stereo B. I don't know. I mean, you can only come up with a few explanations. Look at this. Amazing. I mean, I'd love to hear your comments. And again, look what's happening to Venus down here. I mean, Venus is just getting, look at that, smacked. And you can see it reacting down here. Now, again, I don't know where this is in relation to Venus in relation to the camera. It's the one of the things I don't know, but... I can say this, we all can see this, is that the effect is just huge. So rational thinking would say, well, gee, I think that it's very close to the camera. But you can see our sun, how it's reacting to it as well. And then there's a normal CME. And then I'll close out with here. This was, again, another um, camera. This is B, in fact how it was reacting. So I don't know what that was. We'll look at it one more time. So we'll just run this in real time and then close it out. Look at that, folks. Just amazing. All right, folks, uh, I'm going to do others because there's even more. But this one here, I have to say, is probably the top of the list so far. I, I don't know what this was. I'd love to hear your comments. And uh, hey, this is fun. We'll continue to stay on it.